Welcome to the big old show. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a, uh, we got a fantastic show tonight. An excellent show, and I know a good one of these from a bad one. Tonight is very good. I wouldn't tell you if it was bad, but it's great. And uh, so much to talk about here at the top of the show. It's an exciting time. George W. Bush's inauguration coming up. Everybody got their tickets? You gonna go? You excited about this? <laughs> I've clearly hit on a good topic to start things off. No, this is, uh, this is very exciting. Actually, it's in the news today. This is true. The Secret Service says that they have already taken precautions for George W. Bush's inaugural parade. Can you believe that? They've already taken a lot of precautions. Yeah, and apparently the uh, biggest precaution they're taking is attaching George W's mittens to his coat sleeves. <laughs> right here. Because he likes to flop them. Please stay on. That's the extent of my whole Bush impression. Huh? What? Huh? What could he do to me? <laughs> Later, during my audit. Um, this is interesting. A very big celebration for Senator Hillary Clinton's swearing in is going to be held in New York late Sunday afternoon. And some people are upset because it's happening at the same time as the Giants' playoff game. So, yeah, some people are bummed about it. Yeah, when, uh, when asked about it, Hillary said, so what? Who cares about the San Francisco Giants? I mean, what the... <laughs> the whole audience didn't really laugh. They went, uh... <laughs> and then they left. Uh... According to the Wall Street Journal, this is true, young businessmen in South Korea are attempting to achieve success by dressing like Bill Gates. That's a true story. That's what they're really doing. Yeah, and uh, in a related story, Korea reports that sex has hit an all-time low. Which is... What? That's so weird. What could he do to me? Later, I'm beaten by a gold robot. Uh, <laughs> shoots rubies at me. <laughs> a, uh... I like my whole new later technique, huh? <laughs> you can't stop me. <laughs> Last thing I'll mention before we get started, this is an interesting story. A man in Utah was arrested recently after it was discovered that he had five wives. Can you believe that? Yeah, ironically, uh, he was sent to prison. Now he has five husbands, which I thought was really weird. He's, it's true, he's got... He'll be facing the wrong way at the swearing in. They'll tap him. <laughs> Mr. President, huh? <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's talk about tonight's show. We got a great show tonight. One of the funniest people on the planet's here. This guy's hilarious. He always brings the funny. That's what I call it. Comedian Dave Chappelle is on the program. <laughs> always funny. He's in the record books. We also have... From the television show, The View, one of the nine ladies of The View, Meredith Vieira is on the show. How many are there? There are five. Nine. We're kidding around. Very nice woman. Then, we scooped everybody, folks. We have the editor-in-chief. We have the editor-in-chief. Letterman, Leno, they're like, we go! He got him first. And I was like, hey, how'd you do it? How'd you get him? Um, the editor-in-chief of the old Farmer's Almanac, Judd Hale, is on the show. Come on! Come on! Judd Hale's on the show! And right over here, Mr. Max Weinberg and the Max Weinberg said, Max! Hey, now, hey, now, hey, now. 